Hi everybody, Andrea Carvin here at Inner Sparks Rehab Gym and Spa. And today's topic are three healthy habits to ease chronic pain. But the first one is to, yes, kiss your dog. Mm, that always helps ease pain. My dog wanted to come up. All right, so if you experience chronic pain, do you also experience fatigue, frustration, hopelessness at times? Addressing these concerns is a significant part of turning the cycle around and helping you heal the pain. Often the problems that lead to these feelings involve um, things that you want to do and things that you must do and then also having time to take care of yourself. So this is where developing new habits can really help when you start to realize you're moving into chronic pain or if you've been there for a while and are looking for some things that can help you improve um, what you do and how you feel about your life. So it's easy to get lost in remedies, doctor visits, tests, trying to find which experts can help you solve the problems that you're experiencing. What I'm about to share is very hopeful and exciting and tested for years. Uh, this works. Um, this information comes from over the past 20 years of pain and neuroscience research as well as occupational therapy uh, research and philosophy. The information is powerful information in general in power. So applying even one simple practice can open you to turning around the cycle that you are in and help you improve. So the first principle, number one, routine helps the brain relax. For example, you observe stiff joints are painful when you wake up and by the end of the day you feel better. Try a simple routine as an experiment for a couple days, even two weeks. I'm just getting my notes here. Um, move your joints when you wake up and your brain will begin to associate movement with feeling good earlier in the day. Just keep trying that and see what happens because you need your brain as your ally um, in turning this around. So uh, that's Point number one, the brain, when it's relaxed, relaxes your body, pain goes down. Uh, pain is not an accurate reporter of what's going on. So you may hear an inner voice telling you things like, I didn't do anything today because I had too much pain. Try keeping a diary of activity for a week. Notice the things you're doing and write everything down. You may find that you're doing a lot more than you realize. A client um, not too long ago who went through this process discovered she'd been doing a lot of things and was surprised that she was telling herself, I can't do anything, but she had been doing a lot of things. So um, we can um, help ourselves in just this small practice. And the last one is that movement is healing. Um, many people mistakenly believe that the exercise done in a gym is the stuff that makes the difference and really works to get you stronger and better, but consider that you may only be spending um, a few hours a week in the gym versus all the rest of the time when you're living your life. So I'm not saying the gym isn't important, but you can really um, facilitate improved um, movement, decreased pain, if you start to think about moving is something you're doing all day long. So um, the time you spend doing the things that are important to you and incorporating movements into that will drastically improve um, chronic conditions. So try this easy game and see if this might work for you. Commit to doing a simple movement, anything you enjoy every time you have your morning beverage. So it could be like a wiggle or yes, I'm having my morning beverage. Or you can make a face because you're really feeling grumpy. Whatever the movement is. Or you could do a march. Um, you choose, do something and do it five times every time you have your morning beverage and then see what you notice about yourself. So 
Um, the key is, in turning around pain, start to develop routines that support you. You don't have to think as much, and we can start to turn that uh, cycle around, simple step by simple step. So if you're interested in learning more about easy and effective ways to create new habits, um, I have a link here to our five-day easy habit challenge. It's an e-course that's free. You're welcome to take it and um, no strings attached, just here to help. Um, also, if you want the manuscript from this video, it's up on the blog on my website and I'll put the link up there. So have a great day and if you do try a new habit, I'd love to hear how it goes. Mine these days is yes. Um, whenever I go out and do something new, I give myself a big yes. So give yourself one too. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.